Hey, my name's James Nicholson, and in this video, I've got a very important message about why 2022 is gonna be the toughest year for business owners and what we can do about it. Now, sorry for the doom and gloom with that introduction, but I wanna get the message out. I wanna help entrepreneurs, and I want you guys to really understand that next year is gonna to be tough, right? And so you can do something about it, or you can put your head in the sand and think everything's gonna be back to normal. Now, obviously, over the last two years, we've had a lot of disruption to business owners. Some have thrived, some some have found it really difficult and some have just been crippled and unable to open at all, which has been really, really tough. Now, I'm going to assume if you're watching a video like this, there's a high chance that you are a business owner. You're probably a coach or a consultant, entrepreneur, some sort of serial business owner. And right now, you're trying to figure out what you can do to make your 22 better than ever before. So while you're here, do take your finger of power, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification. I've got new content every day on growing, scaling and marketing a business. Now, who the hell am I? So I'm James Nicholson. I've been in business 17 years now. I'm the author of the new book, Expert Mastery, which you can grab a free copy of in the description below. And along the way, I've discovered something very special, which I call the Business Accelerator methodology. And that helps you take cold leads, turn them into red hot buyers who want to buy from you again and again and again. But if you want to find more about that, go and grab a free copy of the book in the description. Now, 2022. Now, life is starting to get a little bit more normal. It's not normal, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely better than it was at the beginning of this year. And I think that a lot of business owners are going to be in for a shock because they just assume that everything's going to be back to normal. But there's a lot that's changed in the last few months. Things like the recovery loan scheme. Maybe you've got a bounce back loan or a recovery loan. Well, payments are going to be due for that now. Some people have already started to pay back their bounce back loans, meaning life's a little tougher. There's more outgoings in the business, right? Maybe they're paying back the recovery loan scheme as well. And so they've got two additional payments coming out of their business each and every day that's making life that little bit tougher. Now, not only that, there's a lot of stuff going on around the furlough scheme. That's come to an end as well. And that was an incredible scheme that kept a lot of people in their jobs. But now businesses have to pay those staff because the government isn't stepping in and putting any support on that. A lot of businesses have streamlined and a lot of people are going to be made redundant, unfortunately. And that means that those people will have less money to spend with businesses like yours, right? Maybe you're not going to lose staff, but your customers are, right? Your customers are going to lose income. And so that means that they are going to spend less. Other things like interest rates are probably going to go up in 2022. So borrowing of money is going to be difficult. That will cause a bit of a slowdown in the housing market as well. And that's a big recruitment or a big business in this country. And maybe you supply to them. Maybe they're your customers too. Now, it's not all doom and gloom, right? We can really succeed in 2022, but you must do things slightly differently. Now, marketing is going to be more important than ever before, right? Maybe you've got business before and referrals and word of mouth and all that great stuff. And that's great. And I admire you for doing that. However, it's not going to be the same every single year, right? So now we've got to look at what else can we do? What else can we do to get our name out there? Maybe we need to look at things like Facebook ads, YouTube ads, starting to use our social media properly because you are going to be fighting for less customers, but the businesses that market, the businesses that stand out, they're going to be the ones that get all of those customers. A lot of people are going to thrive during this time and a lot of people are going to be super successful, but you must get your name out there to do that. Now, where most people go wrong with their marketing is they try and get married on a first date, right? They just send out offers and promotions to people that don't know them, they don't like them, and they don't trust them, right? Very frustrating for people. You get that all the time. You go and check your inbox now, you've got people that you barely have a relationship with trying to sell you stuff. And that frustrates the hell out of people. And so what I'm saying to you guys is you must be looking at building value first. You need to tell people, show people, demonstrate to people that you're an expert and you do that with content, right? You, now is the time to do that. This year, start building our so uh, can't even speak, start building those foundations, right? YouTube channels, LinkedIn profiles, start getting value out there. If you thought about launching a blog, go and get your blog done. 
Get it out there, get it implemented. These things take time. YouTube channels take years to really get momentum. SEO takes months to get momentum, but you've got to start now, right? Start building those foundations so people can start discovering you. They can start getting your solutions that you've got to whatever problems that they have right now. And so my suggestion to start 2022 is to start positioning yourself as more of an expert in whatever you do. You could be the local estate agent, you could be the local builder, even a restaurant, right? But you must start building those foundations for 2022 and it starts with content. Then when you've got that content out, the next step is to start getting some leads, right? So get some eBooks made, give some more value out there that's gonna get people really joining your list so you can warm them up with some email marketing. I'll show you some examples, I've got some here. Uh, this is an ebook that we've got on 51 tasks a virtual assistant can do for you, right? And so we put content out about virtual assistants, then we send them to grab this, and then we offer them a product or service off the back of that to help them really grow their business. So this is important that you don't underestimate 2022, guys, because it is gonna be a wake-up call for a lot of business owners, and I really want to see more people bouncing back, getting back into the swing of things, really growing their business after two years of uh, being in a difficult situation. So my task for you is to go and start building those foundations, build that YouTube channel, build that Facebook page, build that LinkedIn page. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think is going to happen in 2022? Am I wrong? If I am, that's cool. Comment below and let me know. We'll have a debate in there and I will reply to every comment in here. If you got some value from this video so far, do give me a like. Come on, click the button. It's right there. It will cost you nothing, but it will mean a lot to me when you turn that blue. Subscribe to the channel and check out the other content. And if you didn't already, do go and grab a copy of Expert Mastery. It's a free book that will give you the foundations you need to grow your business. I'll link to that in the description now. I'm James Nicholson. Stay blessed and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.